Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today I want to show you how to make my chicken and tortellini pasta salad. And this is going to be Italian style. We've got another hot scorching summer day and a cool refreshing salad right here. Are you ready? Let's put this one together. We're going to bring a pot of water to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we are going to generously salt it. I've got 20 ounces of cheese tortellini and I'm going to put it all into the boiling water. We're going to cook this for three minutes and then we're going to drain out the water. We're going to rinse it under cold water. That will stop the cooking process and it will also cool the pasta down. Now that our tortellini is fully cooked, drained, and cooled off, we're going to place them into a large bowl. I cooked about 20 ounces of the pasta here. I'm not going to use all of it. I do like to just cook the whole thing and that way I have some left over for a little lunch or something. About 16 ounces went in. Okay, let's talk chicken. This is my oven baked chicken recipe and I made it earlier and it's just been cooled off a little bit. Now I do have a recipe for this. It's in my blog, katherinesplates.com. You can search for oven baked chicken and it turns out perfect every time. I'm gonna be using about two cups of this. Now if you don't want to make oven baked chicken, you can certainly use a rotisserie chicken or you can just boil your chicken and I would do that with some chicken broth and some seasonings, like Italian seasonings. That way you get that Italian flavor in your chicken. If you can get a rotisserie chicken already seasoned with Italian seasoning, that's perfect too. If not, you can just use the original style. But you want to make sure that you put cooked chicken into your salad. The good stuff right here. I'm going to chop up some vegetables. I just found some fresh stuff in my refrigerator, so I've got some sweet peppers here. You can even use bell peppers if you want. I'm just going to slice these and then just put them in there in the rounds. Because bell peppers come in all different colors too, so if you want to use those, you can certainly do the bell peppers too. The sweet peppers are really delicious. This will add a nice crispness to the dish also. I'm trying to keep everything in a nice bite-sized piece. I don't want to really dice these. Then they'll be hard to get on the fork. So you can use cherry tomatoes as usually the ideal tomato to put into the salad. I just had these Roma tomatoes in my refrigerator, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to cut them into quarters here. You want your tomatoes in big pieces, kind of to mimic the cherry tomatoes. That way they hold their shape in the salad. Let's talk onions. Now, I've got some green onions here. I've washed off and just kind of cut some of the green off there. Now, you can use red onions or you can use yellow onions, whatever you want. I tend to like the green onions in salads and red onions too. Just nice size pieces here. And I am going to take this all the way down to the white. Alright, we don't want fuzzy tops. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be using a cucumber. Now I washed this cucumber off really good because I'm just going to peel kind of every other line here. I'm going to use half of a cucumber. It depends on the size of your cucumber. So what I'm going to do is just quarter it lengthwise and chop those into those bite-sized pieces. Okay, I'm going to add this to the bowl. I'm going to keep making sure that my tortellini is not sticking together. some pepperoni. 
probably about 20 pieces that I'm going to cut up. And then I'm also going to add salami. Now this is just uncured Genoa salami, 100% natural. All right, I'm just going to cut these in half. And I'm just going to cut these into bite-sized pieces. I'm going to do that with my pepperoni. Doing things all Italian. Get all those Italian ingredients out. <laughs> Let's add this to our salad. Let's talk cheese. I am using some mozzarella sticks. I've just taken some out of the package and I was going to cut these into small pieces. Now you can use these or you can use the mozzarella balls that come in the package with the oil in them. Or you can take a block of mozzarella cheese and cut that into small pieces also. Whatever you have. All right, we're going to add this to our salad. Black olives. I like to use them whole, so I'm going to pour some of those in here. I'm going to take some pepperoncinis here. I'm not going to add the juice or anything, but just the whole pepperoncinis. I'm going to put a few in the salad. My husband loves the pepperoncinis, so he'll be able to enjoy those. It'll add a little heat to the dish, so if you don't want to add these, you do not have to add them. Okay, now we have to dress our salad. So let's make our Italian seasoning dressing. I'm using a large measuring cup or you can use a small bowl or even a like a large mason jar. I'm going to add three quarters cup of avocado oil or you can use olive oil. I like the flavor of avocado oil and it looks like that right there. To that I'm going to add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar or you can use red wine vinegar. We're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now I'm just using it out of the lemon here or you can squeeze your own fresh. Add in a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, grated or shredded, one teaspoon of dried parsley, one teaspoon of dried onion powder, one teaspoon of dried garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried basil, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of paprika, black pepper, half a teaspoon, three quarter teaspoon of white granulated sugar. Then we're just going to whisk this all together vigorously until we get it all nice and combined. Give it a taste and see if you want to adjust any seasonings. Let's go ahead and dress our salad. All that goodness. Make sure you continually whisk until you get everything poured in. I got somebody that can't wait. There we go. All right, I'm just going to take some tongs and slowly mix everything together until it's well combined with that dressing. Look at those colors. Make sure you go down to the bottom and bring it up so everything is coated. I'm not going to stir anymore because I so am ready for my bite. What do y'all think? What are you adding to your, let's see, chicken and tortellini pasta salad Italian style? That's how we do it. I don't know what bite to take. I want it all. I don't have a long enough fork. <laughs> I do want to try the chicken and the tortellini mm, right there with that dressing. Mm. Mm. 
perfect for any summertime day. Mmm, cool and refreshing. All these flavors sort of meld together. If you make a whole bunch of this and put it in the refrigerator, let it sit, mm, oh my gosh. It'll last days in the refrigerator, you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you think. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. You know I have over 700 videos out there. And if you want to be notified anytime a video comes out, this is for everyone, make sure you hit that bell notification. Okay, guys, I will see you on my next episode.